And Hitler, I've studied him a lot trying to understand what happened. And Hitler was, Carl Jung called him the mouthpiece of the collective unconscious of the German people. So you imagine there's all this resentment and hatred brewing underneath the surface and all this this chaos is there and the desire for order is like clamoring in everyone's minds. And Hitler comes along and he's, he's a very powerful emotional orator mm. and he's watching the crowd and he listens. And when he says thing A, nothing happens. And when he says thing B, everybody roars. Mm. And so he takes note of that. And it's not even conscious exactly, right? Because he's being molded by the crowd. And so they roar. And so we think, so that's a reinforcement. That's a reward. And so then he goes down that line a little bit farther and they roar some more and then he tries mm -hmm. something else and it's silent. He becomes like, what they want. You bet. Yeah. Exactly yeah. that, man. He, he acts out the dark desire of the mob. Mm -hmm. So he becomes the embodiment of the dark desire of the mob. This is him just one month after his election, essentially telling everyone to their faces that the phrase was meaningless. Funny how that term caught on, isn't it? I, told, I tell everyone, I hated it. Somebody said, drain the swamp. I said, oh, that's so hokey. That is so terrible. I said, all right, I'll try it. So like a month ago, I said, drain the swamp. Place went crazy. I said, whoa, watch this. Then I said it again. Then I started saying it like I meant it, right? And then I said it, I started loving it. And the place loved it. It's drain the swamp. I mean, it's true. It's true. It's true.